Hello everyone and welcome to a new UE4 tutorial. Today I'll show you the most simple way to change the car engine pitch depending on speed. For this tutorial I'm using the vehicle template for Unreal 4 and the actual version I'm using right now is the 4.27. So without further ado, let's get started. We need of course an audio file for the car engine, make sure it's a perfect loop with no clicks or pitch variations. Then we need to move inside the vehicle blueprint sedan, sedan blueprint class. We need to get the velocity of our actor, then out of the return value we select vector length we do not need to specify which vector on the x, y or z axis, it doesn't matter. Then out from the vector length, we need to apply a string, a print string, and the return value goes inside the in string and we can disconnect the duration link. Now we need this print string to visualize the actual values of uh, speed we are generating in the game and of course we need to execute the string and to do so I'm going to use an event uh, tick which is down here so we can connect it to a sequence and the second output we can send it to the print string. Great! Now we can play the game and visualize the actual values. Okay, so the maximum value is 3000. So now we can delete our print string connect the vector length to the normalize to range. The range goes from uh, 0 to 3000. And from here we have our normalized value that we can use to change the pitch. But before uh, doing moving forward, we need to apply an offset. So float plus float and we add one. So the default value is set to one. So no modification to the pitch. Now we can add an audio component. So add component audio. We can call it engine source. Here we have it. Under the sound setting we add our car engine loop. We move once again inside the event graph. We generate a set pitch multiplier for our engine source. And of course, we need to trigger the set pitch multiplier with a very fast pace. So we can uh, move down here, take the second output of the event tick connected to the execution pin of the set pitch multiplier. Out of the engine source, we connect a play function that can be executed on play. And I think that the event begin play is here, so we can disconnect it. We can use a sequence. And the second execution output is sent to the play audio component. And now we are ready to test our engine. So compile, save. So that's all for today's quick tutorial. As I said at the beginning of the video, this is the most simple way to generate a car sound effect. 
and in a future video I'll show you how to change pitch using custom curves, so stay tuned. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.